live hello everyone we promised yeah. to broke everything we broke everything it was very good hi ben nice to meet you here ben yeah I said, nice to meet you i don't know where we broke but uh as i said this is a sensef official event so respect the sensef code of conduct to everyone and uh, as we have here a great guy ben vice president of r d of armo and we'll broke the security of kubernetes and show to us the code ben thank you so much for joining us today thank you for having me let's go break everything yeah let's go for it hi right. so are you the uh, do you see my screen oh not yet but it will hello tunisia nice to meet you with us here let's wait a yeah guys oh we are going just a minute uh, let, let. <laughs> oh just a minute there uh, i can heck easily or oh, i will be more <laughs> Hacking is illegal, FBI, yeah. CIA, etc. <laughs> Good. Hello, Mongolia. Nice to meet you. Thank you for joining us today. Oh, Hi, guys. Mongolia. Bruno Kaufman, my friend. Nice to meet you here. Thank you so much. Let's. Oh man, let's let's learn how break it. not how not break governors. Awesome. With Ben. One moment, yeah. please. We can show the, the yeah. screen. Yeah, just tell anymore. me when to start, and I will start here. You can start. Let's go. Yeah. Do you Let's see my uh, my no, screen? Uh, not yet, please. Uh, let I me think see. That uh, I'm, doing, me. I'm I'm resharing my screen. Just give me uh, not if if it's being shared. Oh, for me not. I don't know. Got it, Libre. Yes. Oh. I'm not seeing it. Let me check the if it is on Twitter. Okay. Oh, you cannot. Okay, we are we are facing a little problem with uh, the streaming restream. Uh, Let's wait a little bit more. Please. Oh, oh no, awesome. great. Awesome. We're great. So, hi, guys. I, I'm really glad being, uh, to be here. Uh, especially, sure. I'm, I'm so glad that, you know, I see people here from, you know, Italy and, and Mongolia and really, you know, from the States. And I, I, I really, you know, appreciate you having me here and also appreciate, you know, uh, your attention. Um, so, um, so what we are going to talk today, I'm going to show you our take on, on, on attacking Kubernetes. I'm going to show you a, a few simple attacks, um, year around, uh, and, uh, let's jump into it. So just Paulo, uh, Paulo said, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, Ben, I'm a uh, VP R&D at Armo and just for your, you know, for your, you to know, I'm a white attacker for a really, really long time and I love hacking and just uh, as much as I love Kubernetes and, you know, we all love Kubernetes and cloud native and, you know, uh, there's no, uh, no denial that Kubernetes and cloud native as, at all as a, is a big, a big, a big success. And, you know, with the big success in, in the security, uh, uh, world, you know, comes, you know, the attacks actually, you know, but because once you are, you are, you become a, a key player, then uh then you know you're um you're becoming a target for many many attacks and you know i just brought here a few examples you know happened only you know in the past few months of attacks on kubernetes and you know uh as a white hacker you know i'm i always think that you know we have power 
and and Kubernetes has a great power, and with the great power uh, uh, comes great responsibility. So uh, I know that I saw here that someone was concerned about you know the legality of <laughs> of hacking. You know, um, we are hacking Kubernetes, and we are doing stuff in order to to you know to make things better. And and you know, I I also encourage everyone you know to report issues to the Kubernetes teams, relevant Kubernetes teams, if they found something else, just as I. Uh, did before. So, um, what you know, what an attacker can uh, wants from a Kubernetes uh, uh, cluster and a Kubernetes system, you know, uh, you may want to steal data. And you know, here I'm talking about not just stealing data, you know, necessarily directly from the Kubernetes from a uh, from a pod, but uh, you know, stealing uh, 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 data using the credentials that has been stolen for a Kubernetes cluster. So, um, think about all, all the uh, um, you know, cloud uh, uh, credentials, you know, you are having in your cluster, in, in your different uh, uh, objects, and also in your file systems. So uh, each of them can be uh, an attack vector and a mean of, of stealing more data. Um, also, you know, Kubernetes cluster can be used to, to you know, to gain uh, computational resources. So it can be, a, a, you know, a, a, um, it, it's going. It, it is a nice. It's interesting attack vector. You know today that when people are looking for computational resources in, in order to do some Bitcoin mining and stuff like that, uh, uh, to to use the attack Kubernetes in order to gain such uh, uh, computational resources. Um, we've been starting to hear uh, in the security community about ransomware in, in around Kubernetes. Uh, people are looking out. Uh, uh, administrators and, uh, and 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 locking data in order to um, uh, to, uh, to you know to have some financial gain and you know it's a real threat and also you know we we are as just I told you that before that any service provider you know is is also uh, can be a victim of denial service attacks and and bringing down a Kubernetes cluster you know can be a really big problem so this is. Uh, things that the attacker may want, you know, when we are looking into uh, a, a Kubernetes uh, um, Kubernetes environment. So um, my story today, I always like to tell, you know, a, 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 a framing story here uh, around these in these talks, and and uh, our story begins with uh, with Google's uh, um, uh, Google's uh, online boutique uh, microservices demo application, which is, you know, we are calling it hipster shop and because it was the old name and, and, um, and you know, we have a, a, a hipster shop running uh, in uh, GKE, in uh, Google's own uh, 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 Kubernetes uh, 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 solution. And, you know, this is a online application, a web shop, uh, which is running with Kubernetes, and it has some uh, security uh, measures in place. So containers are scanned for vulnerabilities before uploading. Uh, we have installed Falco uh, uh, in this cluster, um, and you know this is the begin uh, point of start, you know, for our our discussion. So this is when the attacker is going to start to uh, uh, work, and just you know, in order to 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 enable you to focus on this whole talk on this demonstration and 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 you know I, I will stop here and there to to review questions and try to answer during the time um, to answer your questions in place but um, I, my attack is is has been broken to to, to several smaller attacks um, I'm going to uh, to install a malware or get the operators of this of this Kubernetes cluster in order to install uh, malware in in their cluster um, then I'm going to use this malware to to get uh, get into the pod uh, of uh, of the victim. Then I'm going to steal the service account uh, from this pod and, and from remotely, not from the uh, the not from the Kubernetes cluster, but from uh, uh, remotely. I'm going to use uh, the service account uh, to identify myself against uh, uh, the API server. And start to communicate with the API server from outside the cluster, um, and and then I'm going to start to steal secrets from your uh, Kubernetes cluster, and 
and after it we are going to uh, exit to uh, to the worker nodes and and still more more interesting things from there so this is up on, uh, 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 this is up until now uh, and let's uh, you know jump into into the first uh, attack vector which is actually yeah. you know um, the yeah sorry paul have you asked something so yeah, just just one thing uh, our friend Abraham uh, asked if you talk about uh, any uh, attacks uh, over the OS hosting from the Kubernetes addressing. You covered this this kind of attack today. So um, not really. Uh, so we are going to exit to the exit to the OS level at the end, but at the beginning we are uh, focusing only from the Kubernetes layer uh, in okay. this attack. So it's, it's more okay, more perfect. of that. So thanks. So sure. Um, and again, just ask me questions during the time, and I will stop for 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 answering. Um, so let's say that for now I'm taking the hat of 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 the operator um, operator of this uh, this solution, and and um, and as the operator, I'm I'm opening my Slack one morning, and you know I I see that that with, uh, first obviously I'm I'm in the Kubernetes channel, but I I return to my home uh, channel and I see that my um, friend just sent me that that in the microservices de demo there is a new version, and I'm pretty glad because I usually I, you know I, I I love new versions uh, of of the software because they are usually better and um, and you know I go to the GitHub and I see that well this is this this must be a very very good and very nice and very good version, and you know I'm. As the operator, I'm, I'm a little bit maybe you know I, I use to to scan uh, uh, the vulnerabilities for uh, for the uh, images I'm in, uh, in installing in my Kubernetes cluster. So I'm I'm going into uh, uh, this public reposit uh, repository at Quay.io, uh, which has just scanned this image. And I see that that it's it's a pretty good uh, scan result. Okay, the Qu uh, Quay security scanner. Um, has not detected any vulnerabilities in this uh, in this image. So, uh, as the operator, right now I'm 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 pretty pretty fine with installing okay this new version from this public repository, and um, and what I'm going to do now um, is just before well I got disconnected maybe from Kubernetes, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, uh, go to my Solution, okay, which is working here. You can see the online boutique is is up and running, and and you know I I can see my workloads here also running smoothly. And from from my control uh, uh, um, shell, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to patch, uh, okay, this uh, uh, this service. I'm going to install this uh, version 0.2.2 uh, of this front end. Um, and uh, and you know we'll see what what is going to happen. Okay, I'm, I'm with my I've updated with this new version my deployment, and the new version started to work. Okay, and I'm the operator coming here doing some checks, and yeah, well, it's still working. I'm I'm still able to buy stuff in in the boutique, so I'm I, I feel fine. I'm go to sleep now. Um, and ben, sorry now for the trip to York. Yeah, sorry, yeah. sorry for inter interrupt you again, but uh, you when you put in your your show, you can increase a little bit your character size because it's, uh, it's thin, it's thin a little bit. This one, just a, uh, yes, a little bit more. Uh, I I'm not. I think I'm already the largest. Um, I'm not sure that maybe the lights theme is better. Oh. Do you think it's better? Oh no, C come back to black. I think that's uh, yeah. Uh, it's I'm better. Sorry. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. It's not uh, okay. No problem. And please, if you possible, could you put your your name your uh, Twitter account? People sure. are asking. Thank you. Yeah, so much. sure. Uh, if sorry, okay, sorry, I, I, I will do it at the end. Okay, just don't want to switch screens if it's okay. Um, okay. Thank you so much so, for interrupting you. So what's happened here uh, behind the scenes is that I'm as an attacker, um, 
I'm switching, you know, my hats and I'm the attacker. I was able to add a backdoor into uh, into the new version of of, of this uh, uh, front end component here. So, actually, my code as an attacker is started to run in uh, in your cluster. Now you can say that well, you know, um, I someone took it from a public repository, but but you know there was uh, endless you know. Uh, um, examples in the last, even in the last uh, month of, of, of tainted uh, uh, um, images in public repositories, and I, I you know, uh, everyone who's looking, uh, who's worried about cybersecurity and, and reading about cybersecurity, uh, I guess all you also heard about so the solar winds attack, which is what we call was supply chain attack, and um, and and you know exactly this is what what it is. What I'm showing you that that I published um, a um, malware-enabled uh, uh, version of a public component in a public uh, container repository, and I got someone to install it. So now what's happening at the next step? The next step is, is that um, the next step, the, as an attacker, OK, I'm going to connect my back door, okay? So um, I hope the text is better here. So I'm going to uh, connect this IP, okay, which is actually the, the public IP of this web shop at the service port. And I'm going to co connect, okay? Do you see my, uh, uh, my uh, font? Is it okay? Uh, I'm going to connect my backdoor within this service, which is looks totally legit. And what I can show you that I've opened a reverse shell uh, in the pod. What you see here that I've through a, a TCP connection, I've opened a, a connection against the service. I've added my own uh, uh, request uh, path. And um, and connected my backdoor, which was embedded in this new version. So right now you see that I've opened the uh, 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 opened this. If you want, I see that people still want even bigger uh, text. I'm going to just put something even. Okay. So um, I was able. To, uh, to connect my, uh, my uh, malware. And right now I'm running a process within the pod. I've opened the reverse shell. So I have an access, um, access to, the, uh, to the system, uh, to the pod inside. And, and the in, uh, when I'm inside, I'm, I can do different things in, as, as an attacker. Um, someone, Daniel asked what service permitted this? So this is not really a service. It, again, we have taken a, 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 a legit application and added a, a, a malware to that legit application. Okay, and and someone installed this legit uh, this version, this malware version of this application because it was pushed into a public repository and no containers can reveal the actual problem with the image. Okay, so actually what is running here is, is the front-end application, which you can see also in the microservices demo in GitHub uh, at Google. Um, and uh, uh, what I'm going to show you that, that beyond just you know, looking into the files, what I'm going to do here, uh, I'm going to, to take one very, very interesting file here. This very interesting file is a second this is, doesn't like look good right this okay so uh this file is uh is uh, the service account token okay uh service account token is is actually the secret uh running uh the secret which is we has been mapped into the kubernetes pod um Wait a second. 
Okay. So service account token is is actually the secret which is used by uh, the Kubernetes pod, which wants to connect uh, the Cube API and and uh, make requests to Cube API. This token is used uh, to authenticate uh, this pod against the Cube API. So it's it's essentially it's like um, uh, uh, it's it's like um, uh, authentication, uh, um, you know, a password or or, or, or a authentication secret, as you will. And this is used, okay, uh, by Kubernetes in order to authenticate services. Now, what I'm going to uh, 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 what I'm going to do here, as I'm I'm going as an attacker, I'm going to take this service account token. Okay, I'm returning to uh, my cloud shell. Okay, which can be you know any any other shell from the world. Okay, and and I'm taking this token and and I'm going to use it later. Um, and beyond that, uh, the token. Okay, I'm also taking something else, which is uh, a certificate. Um, C A C R T. Yeah. So this is also the certificate which is used. Uh, for communicating with the API server, and uh, I'm copying it just as I did with the service account token, exiting now and uh, just disconnected from from the pod. Um, so yeah, there is a real good, uh, really good, uh, good question here. So are all service account tokens mounted in the pod in this way automatically by Kubernetes? Yes, at least uh, the question by us is really good. So uh, uh, Kubernetes mounts these service account tokens into the pod. Uh, I did not, didn't do any explicit mount here. Um, and you know, every Kubernetes pod has a service account by default, uh, which is the namespace uh, uh, service account. Um, and I, uh, and you know, you can see it in the pod, but you can tell Kubernetes not to mount. Uh, this into into your uh, uh, your system, so um, yeah. Returning to the place, I'm going to so, uh, uh, store my certificate. Also, I have an old certificate here. I'm just cleaning it up, and um, what I have here at this console right now, two things. Okay, uh, sorry, uh, two things here. Okay, uh, one is the token, the second is the certificate. So I'm returning, you know, to show you where we are in in this whole scan. So we've opened the reverse shell and stolen the service account token, okay, from this pod. Now, the interesting thing is that, uh, that I'm going, uh, that, Service accounts are met, are way in Kubernetes to authenticate services within Kubernetes. Now the interesting part is that that as of today, these tokens can all uh, can be used from anywhere uh, to authenticate against the uh, Cube API server. So now you don't need you don't necessarily need to be in the cluster. And why this is important? This is important because if I'm operating, you know within the system i don't necessarily want to do it from within the system i it's as an attacker it's way more easy uh, for easier for me to do it from the outside i i have to clean up less uh, uh, less after myself okay uh, doing that uh, now let's just go into one i see that we have a few uh, questions here so um uh well, Lichari asks, uh, I would imagine tokens should only be able to list view and not much harm unless RBAC is messed up. So it's a good point, okay? Um, there are, it depends on really, you know, what are you doing, okay? There are public facing uh, 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 pods, I mean, public facing, you know, uh, pods which are, you know, can be accessible, accessible from the public internet, which do have uh, uh, um, do have a, a service account which is meaningful. So by def uh, uh, a default service account usually doesn't have 
any interesting uh, uh, um, uh, authorizations in the RBAC system, but uh, uh, but there are a lot of which do. Okay, and and while I I, I really appreciate you know that you're saying that the RBAC is messed up, uh, and, and I more or less I agree with you. But but uh, but sometimes you know, for example, uh, uh, monitoring tools which are used from remotely to monitor systems uh, usually need, you know, uh, um, uh, need a lot of uh, authorizations and they're also public facing. So it's a kind of a good target. Uh, in this case, okay, uh, uh, in this case, you know, what we are going to do, we are going to use uh, this service account token to start to talk to the Kubernetes APS server. So there is a simple, uh, uh, prepare a simple uh, comment here, which I want to, you know, do a very fast walk through with you. So the interesting part is that I'm, I'm, I'm obviously I'm using curl in this case, but I've added uh, a header authorization header to the curl request authorization where the beer is contains this token with just uh, which we've just copied here. Okay. Um, and and you know I'm going to the API server host, which you know uh, um, can be found you know more or less easily. And I'm turned to API v1 namespace is default bot. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to show you the, uh, that that using only curl and this the, the service account token, while not running inside uh, uh, the Kubernetes cluster, I'm I'm able to uh, to uh, do. Um, uh, to connect this uh, uh, the Kubernetes API server, so I just need to set up here um, the the addresses set API server taking um, cluster. This is the IP of the API server from the outside world um, at port four four three. Okay, and as you can see, I've just got a response using the, uh, this uh, uh, token from the API server from the public internet um, and not with inside the cluster. So um, it, it is, uh, it is uh, also you know, proof, a small proof of concept, okay, that you can start uh, uh, you know, to, uh, uh, to operate uh, against the API server using uh, this token. As next stage, I'm going to show you, okay, that that uh, I, using this token, okay, and 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 I agree with one of the questions. Obviously, this token, uh, this service account has privileges here in the system, um, but I'm I'm able to 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 start to dump uh, a Kubernetes secret. So um, just as I did here. Um, the wait a second. Uh, I did my my request here to pods. I'm just in the same way. I can request secrets, okay, and I get answer, okay, from uh, from uh, the cube API. Also, I can go to the hipster shop namespace. Okay, and I, and as you can see, you know, I, I can look into what kind of of secrets are residing here, okay, in this namespace, and I I bump into AWS access ID, okay, and this not just can be you know any kind of secret access ID or 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 any kind of authentication token to other uh, cloud services. So obviously, you know, if someone starts to access your secrets from remote, it it it, it is a problem. And this is something you know uh, you should uh, you know uh, be sure okay to 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 avoid okay and and I was able you know to to uh, to dump the secrets remotely you know using only curl and and this token but also you know I have other secrets here like the the recipe of of Big Mac sauce um, and here are the ingredients <laughs> so uh, you know have uh, you have um, uh, you have here a, a, a lot of uh, you know uh, stuff here taking from the API server. 
So, oh, Venom. Uh, Venom. Well, yeah. Uh, sorry for, for interrupting. We have a question very interesting. That is, uh, how you know how you know the API server endpoint? Yeah, of course. So, you, you are talk about you are talk about maintain or retain uh, uh, security security key, and uh, of course you can use it everywhere. Yeah, but to use it, you you one thing you need is uh, the door, and the door is the the end point. Yeah. So That's this is a good question. Yeah. So okay, I didn't want to cover here because I I didn't see it uh, in very interesting, you know, in this talk. But but there is an easy strategy. Okay. So scanning uh, scanning, you know, uh, and crawling, you know, IPs and and more or less, you know, the IP range is used by Google for 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 uh, Kubernetes uh, API endpoints are, are pretty clear. And, you know, um, finding out which one uh, is answering, you know, uh, t taking my uh, my, uh, my uh, service account um, token and and agreeing, accepting it, you know, it, it, it should be, you know, a, a rather, you know, small task, you know, to do, and maybe it can take up to, you know, a few hours to find out which one is the actual API server endpoint for me but 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 it shouldn't be you know a, a, a big uh, uh, a big task to to find out um and uh, yeah our friend our friend valid uh ask you if you can show uh how much access you have in, uh, in yeah. your collection you ask it, in, it here yeah, I, I am going to show uh, show it at the, at the end, but but I cannot. Uh, but obviously, well, it, okay, just just a told before. Obviously, you know, this is a elevated uh, service account. Okay, I I don't have you know a, 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 I'm um, I, I I agree with you that that obviously it has authorizations, but just think about you know any uh, any monitoring tool that monitors. Uh, um, Cube objects and even secrets uh, um, uh, against the Cube API needs these authorization levels. So, um, so it's not really you know far fetched to think that that they that they do have this account. Uh, so uh, this account do have uh, elevated privileges, uh, you know, beyond the simple things. Um, so. Um, Returning, okay. I've showed you that that uh, um, that I've just was able to to you know to take uh, uh, the the secrets and dump the secrets out. Um, now, as the last part, and we are getting to the last part of, of of this remote attack. What I'm going to do is is creating you know more more persistency uh, 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 in in the system, uh, and and in order to do that, I'm going to uh, uh, exit. Um, the, the the this pod and uh, not just I'm going to create a new pod uh, in the system okay which is going to mount uh, um, mount a host mount the host file system and it's going not going to be what we call a privileged pod it, it only you know uh, amount the node uh, uh, file system and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, from there, uh, the the uh, private key and uh, and certificate of the Kubernetes node, which is used to authenticate the node against the Kubernetes uh, management system. So, as I told you uh, again, I still have uh, 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 these elevated privileges, and I've just created uh, uh, a, a new namespace and and. Which is not really, you know, interesting. It's just fine things. And what I did is I've created uh, a new deployment. Okay, just let me show you what we have here. So within this new deployment, okay, you have again the same curl request, more or less, uh, again the same API server and host. Um, and and you know what? Within this new namespace, which is called bad namespace, I I've uh, uh, pushed. Uh, I created a new deployment, um, and just to show you, you know, there is nothing really uh, uh, curious about about this deployment. But what you have to, uh, 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 what uh, you need to uh, uh, see here, that there is uh, a mount, 
a volume mount within this pod mounted from the host, uh, the root directory of the host. And, and, and you know, I'm, uh, I, I'm going to connect uh, this and in order to start to look on the host. So uh, let me uh, see the questions. Um, uh, so do we have new questions? Or, um, there is one about yeah. Big Mac, but let's... Uh, yeah, let's, the Big Mac one is, is the most... Okay, let's, let's put this in the in the, in the, in the, in the on, on there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, it's going to be in the comment. So, um, yeah, where were we? So this is the, uh, for me, you know, doing these tricks, you know, the interesting part was that I've never used uh, uh, the Kubernetes API uh, directly beforehand from curl. And, and, you know, here I started to use it from curl and at this stage of the attack, you know, I, I want to start to execute uh, uh, processes from using the, this authentication uh, uh, mechanism, uh, 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 and, and 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 in order to do that, you know, in the one hand I wanted to use curl, and in the other hand, you know, I I I I need to connect the exact API uh, of the pod in Kubernetes now. Uh, Honestly, you know, I've never went this uh, to this side. So for me, I'm sure that most for most of the audience, it's not. But for me, it was it was new that to see that the uh, that the exact API in Kubernetes is actually a WebSocket API. And you know, when I realized that, I I, I saw that 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 uh, you know, doing WebSockets in curl is is not a you know, it's not an easy thing uh, to do. So that's why I've just wrote myself a. Uh, 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 a, a Python uh, uh, code, you know, which which actually does this connection uh, for me, uh, uh, you know, based uh, based on uh, uh, um, based on on this authentication token. So I took some code from example code from from our stuff. Okay, and the interesting part is here, uh, more or less, you know, this line. Okay, which which I'm using here to uh create the the configuration for the python module in order to think that we are running inside the cluster so i wouldn't call this uh, an attack but it's an interesting thing you know that uh, uh, to you know that you can convince your python build, uh, the uh, uh, kubernetes module that uh, uh, that uh, to take the token and certificate you want uh, from a different place it usually takes uh, and then I'm 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 connecting uh, uh, this Python module in order to 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 execute commands on, on on the destination pod. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get the the pod name um, uh, for for us, which is was bad name space. Um, in spaces pods grab name. Okay, so I have this NGINX deployment name here. Um, so I have here another uh, um, thing here. So what we are going to do here is is start to look uh, on. Uh, on this pod, which which has mounted uh, uh, this volume, and uh, we are running it in bad name space. This is the pod name, and I want to see what within what uh, do we have in this directory. Okay, so we are missing the certificate. Just give me a minute. So export um, certificates. So we don't have, okay, we have our hosts are not working. Certificate is is not good. Certificate. 
certificate. Wait a second, I just need to check what they wrong. I think I need to copy again the same certificate. Let's take it from here. Cert um, yeah, uh, no, it's actually, I think I, did, I do think that I had a typo there. I uh, just re reconnecting. Yeah, okay, now it's working. So actually, again, using this, uh, this, to uh, this stolen token, Okay, I've looked into the the host uh, 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 file system under varlib kubelet pki, and and um, yeah, I, I I know that again I see the comments, but the Pam actually with the A, uh, I know that I did it before a, a typo, uh, and that's why I deliberately used PAM. Uh, so returning to this, um, so. With, uh, if someone looks has the whole host file system in, and especially you know under Warlib Kubelet PKI, you know there are these uh, 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 certificates here, uh, certificate files which actually contain not just the certificates, uh, but uh, also uh, the private keys. So if I'm if I'm looking into this, um, okay, I do see that I got the elliptic curve private key uh, here and the related certificate there. So um, in my, if I take it and parsing it, uh, um, if I'm looking to what do I have inside uh, X509 in host um, minus text, I think, yeah. So I've parsed this file, and I do see that you know I do have uh, a certificate which is good for the next five years. So uh, if I'm taking away this certificate, uh, and I have I can have a permanent uh, I have a permanent uh, access for the next five years uh, to to this cluster from within. Um, and obviously, it's it's a good thing for the attacker to take. It has um, I can uh, uh, connect, uh, you know, the, the control plane of Kubernetes and start to get everything you have in HDCD for any type and manipulating it. So it's also a, a good thing, you know, to take away if something is wrong. And if I'm, you know, looking into the Falco log, um, actually, just you know, in order to sh show that that. Since I've been, you know, using uh, this thing remotely, uh, and also, you know, I I, I haven't uh, um, there was I haven't used a privileged uh, uh, pod here. Um, I I didn't get any notification from Falco about you know about uh, any sus suspicious activity here, um, and you know I. From my point of view, you know, it's it's, it's more or less, you know, a, a game over, okay, uh, in this case. So just, you know, uh, recapping uh, uh, this stuff. Um, so we went from, you know, uh, from doing initial penetration to the to the cluster using a front uh, a front end application, uh, which was in in my case, it it contained the malware. Uh, but just as it contained the malware, it, it could have a software vulnerability. So I see, I, I think I saw uh, last week a very interesting uh, another video, uh, which was posted in in the Slack, uh, in the Kubernetes uh, 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 security group, uh, uh, when someone did the same initial penetration uh, using uh, a well-known uh, um, uh, vulnerability in Drupal. Uh, but in the, in our case, we used uh, a, a malware and we've packed the malware 
uh, um, malware uh, uh, to to connect it, and this malware was was what we call pegged uh, using a tool called Azuri. It's an open source uh, tool, and it's it it encrypts and decrypts uh, the malware uh, with in the RAM. So therefore, it is pretty uh, um, uh, pretty stealth. Um, and it's hard to detect. Um, and when we attack, uh, connected this backdoor, we start. Uh, we took uh, the service account tokens for authentication from the pod. Then start to use this service account token uh, from here till the end in order to authenticate ourselves from outside the cluster using this token. Uh, we show that you know, easily, if, if we have, if you have access to Cube API from the outside, you know, you can. Start to read. Obviously, you can start to read secrets. Uh, you can start to bring up pods. And in our case, we brought up a pod and and also taken uh, um, uh, from uh, from uh, our our pod. We used it to to mount the host file system and taken uh, uh, the node uh, uh, certificate and private key. And um, so let's go to to some more uh, uh, some, uh, to more questions. Um, so. Um, I have a question from Walid. What would you uh, What would you do if you wanted to defend against this attack? So it's a very very good question. Okay. So um, okay. Now I, I obviously I, I have a problem with answering. Okay, because Armo is is one uh, my company is actually doing protections against such uh, such attacks. But obviously, you know, one of the most important thing here is to be sure where you are taking your uh, your software updates from. Okay, supply chain is is a very delicate thing, and it, and obviously, as um, not just from a commercial po uh, point of view, but from you know, as a community, you know, we have to think of of how we can better protect uh, the supply chains and, and how we can better you know look for for such a uh, packed malware, um, and obviously, you know, taking uh, uh, taking uh, versions uh, where you have a pretty decent, you know, uh, um, uh, respect from the place where you have uh, you have uh, taken it, um, and um, and also, you know, I I do think that 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 we need to improve our our runtime detections. Obviously, I, I I I do feel that although I understand why, but I do feel that it's not a good thing that that you can authenticate using uh, a service account uh, um, from the outside of the public inter from the public internet against the Cube API and Cube Cube API is not checking the source IP. Um, although again, I I do think that there is uh, there I know that there is design reason for that, but 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 still I feel that there can be some improvement here. Um, and and obviously, you know, just as well it said, you know, Arbucks are and, and elevated pods are a problem. Yeah, and more questions. Um, yeah, so Paulo asked about this uh, Drupal thing. I think that um, yeah, I'm going to post it. I yeah, it's here uh, in the uh, in the six security uh, uh, thread. It was posted. I'm, I'm going to I'm write it down. I'm going to try to uh, uh, share it afterward. More questions. Um, for example, you cannot block APS server within the enterprise. For example, unless we are using GitOps. Um, yeah. So it's also a good question. Okay, that why Falco has not. Uh, um, not reported access uh, uh, to etc Kubernetes PK files. Uh, there is a good reason for that because these files are uh, can be used legitimately. Also, the service account files can be used legitimately. Okay, so um, these are legit files which can, which are accessed by some of the processes. Now the question is. How you can differentiate between the good process and the bad process? Uh, because obviously, obviously, Kubelet is accessing uh, the, PK, the private key files, uh, and within the pod, also, you know, maybe the application itself uses the service account. So it's it's pretty hard for Falco to to not going into a lot of 
uh, none of false alerts here. Uh, um, yeah, I'm. I I will. I'm going to share with you also, uh, Polo. Where should we share everything? Uh, the every, the you know the things we we've, we've just shown here. Yeah, yeah. This this show will is being recorded, and uh, I invite everyone to join us in chats for CNCF, and of course uh, invite Ben to to be present in CNCF uh, Slack uh, because there we can uh, share other contents. And uh, after all, yeah. please put your uh, Twitter account because you can. Yeah. Uh, share the your git git, git your git uh, entry to people yeah, sure. and get their files etc. It's so much important. Of course, again, everyone is welcome to be part of CNCF Slack community and reach reach us there and ask anything. Of course, I, I know that sometimes it's difficult to to make questions. We have an audience from everywhere. YouTube, uh, to really, uh, LinkedIn. It's, um, it's, it's amazing, but sometimes it's difficult to manage all questions and at the same time answer everything and everyone be represented. So, uh, it's, um, uh, please everyone come on, uh, reach us in CNCF or Slack, uh, channels and we'll be there to help. My, 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 my entry point for, for Slack is, is, is like the Twitter. I put here, and Ben yeah. will will put in you you we will put the Ben entry here to from to it. Yeah, uh, Paulo, can you put? Uh, I don't see how I can put in the chat my Twitter and I yeah, I see it. Now, yeah, now. yeah, so. we will. Yes, uh, and uh, uh, Libby, please uh, put the yeah, I, yes I uh, security now. So yes, everyone is welcome, you know, to to, uh, 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 to talk to me. Uh, I'm going to stay for at least for a half an hour to in the six security Slack. So uh, I will be, you know, happy to to answer. And I hope um, uh, this talk was interesting. I was really it was fun for me. I hope it was, you know, it gave you some interesting insights. You 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 show the Falco running. Falco is an amazing project. It's a, it's a project inside yeah. the CNCF landscape. Uh, yesterday I was with uh, Dan Pop, to, to, uh, chatting, talking about Falco. Yes, really amazing. Yeah, and uh, uh, it's uh, uh, what. What what I can see here today was uh, the, uh, a, a set of best practices together with tools and uh, war, uh, questions and what about the uh, security uh, secured secured uh, issues uh, when when you can. Cops. Uh, Oh, I, I think I've just uh, lost I have you. A... Sorry. Hello. Oh, lost me. Yeah, I, I, yes. I, 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 uh, in the I, I'm, I'm here. Oh my God. Again, the internet. Please, if you want, can send a cable for me. I will be amazing because I'm lost every day, every time. My connection is terrible. Okay. Uh, Ben, uh, I see. Uh, can you hear me? No, yeah, I, I live here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so good. Oh, Ben, uh, I saw uh, many, many good best, best breaks. Of course, you show the, the, the patterns when you have uh, attacks, etc. Uh, do you have an uh, Oh, I, I like libraries, I like uh, reference. Uh, when I can. Uh, when I can read more about that, uh, you 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 have a your your page your your armor has a blog that show more yeah. about the security. How how can I learn more? Because learn it's difficult. It's amazing to see your showing. We'll watch again this show, but uh, uh, we want to get something in the hands to to read. What do you think? Do you have something that you can show to us? Yeah, so so well, I you I really you know I'm restarting my screen share. Um, 
sorry, because I've just removed that share. Um, oh, but you don't see that. Yeah. Okay. So you have Armosec IO. Okay, our homepage, uh, and you have here, you know, uh, 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 our blog, um, which I, you know, I, I really, you know, tell you that that, that uh, uh, you should, you know, follow, and also on LinkedIn. We are, we are publishing every uh, every week some uh, interesting reading here. Um, you know, this thing about, I, I haven't published uh, about uh, this remote uh, service account token uh, issue uh, because I, I reported it just a week ago. So, uh, so therefore I didn't want to make a big buzz around that. Um, but obviously, you know, I'm, I'm going to make you, uh, you know, write up here in this blog. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, and and we'll you know you, you can uh, follow us here and and read here and also in our uh, LinkedIn and, and uh, Twitter accounts you can follow us. Oh great, thank you. Uh, the, uh, of, of course, again, I, I I want to say you you are ready to answer questions in in offline, of course. Uh, uh, so you can where where is the better place to meet it, to reach you Ben? Uh, you are from your Twitter or from your our Slack? I prefer our Slack CNCF, of course, because this Slack. is a community. Uh, I, I, I'm on Slack. You are, you're welcome really to write me on Slack. Um, I, I try to my most you know to 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 answer uh you on on slack and if not i'm i'm when i open it i'm i'm sure i'm going to answer every every questions also you know i, I linkedin and twitter th these are my main uh, places where I, I publish but but slack if you want to you know discuss me uh, with me and i love discussions about security and also about kubernetes uh so so you're really welcome to connect me on on slack uh ben hirschberg uh, uh um and uh, you know find me there Okay, excellent. And Armor has a Twitter account too. Uh, yeah, I do think, but but I I think that I'm I'm uh, uh, I'm not sure where it where is it. Uh, uh, we'll we'll post it here. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, oh we, we yeah. Have yeah okay. If someone's interested. Okay, you have a LinkedIn account. Okay, you can reach you in the LinkedIn too. Amazing. Uh, ben, of course, was yeah. amazing. Of course, was amazing. I don't have more questions Thank here. Uh, oh, uh, our valid asking that could not see any, any message related to what you said in the SIG, SIG SEC. I suppose that is on SIG SEC from Kubernetes or CNCF. What, yeah. what do you follow? follow? Paolo, pa there is a Paolo, my friend from Italy, maybe, because Paolo is Italy. Uh, and uh, uh, we can, of course, we can try this again another time. It's really... ...show again other... other uh, oh, my God, failing again. Oh. Just come back. Sorry. Oh, that's the problem that living in some place where the telecommunications is also very good. It's here in Brazil. <laughs> sometimes you have problems with telecommunications. Okay. Um, our 4G is like 3G. Our 5G is like 2G sometimes. Okay. So what's amazing, break the things with you, uh, Bian, and want to invite you again for next time, talk more about security. Security is a point, uh, it's a DevSecOps. Security is a point very, very important for us, in, and we are increased that we, we can see the, the, uh, the, how much the, the, battle the the attacks the cyber attacks are growing the world we are doing uh every day when you open newspaper you can see that someone have data breach or something else my accounts yeah. are break yeah. many times so really really important this this subject and so i want to i can to invite you to present for us you can choose other i can't stay and uh, 
do a deep dive or, or another time to this. And, of course, uh, uh, I want to invite you, Ben, and everyone from Armory and from the chat for our Cubicon Europe. You have a session for Secured, right? Uh, Cube Secured today will be amazing. My friend, Ambassador Ricardo, uh, is doing a great job in the... Uh, doing uh, uh, work in the the committee from this 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 uh, event. You will be there. Uh, you will be there, Brown. No question. Yeah. I'm I'm going to be there. You know, I I, I love KubeCon. Okay, it's, but it's awesome. but but we can we we participating the KubeCon, right? Yeah. Oh, Hopefully. excellent. We can we can reach you there. Okay. Oh, Ben, thank you so much for uh, this uh, uh, this show today. Uh, this show, um, we don't have more questions. I'm seeing your blog is amazing here. I, I'm, I'm open here. You have a container drip, another example of why HTTP basic authentication is flawed. It's yours. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, you, uh, yeah. I mean, there we have, you know, interesting people and, and you know, we're, you really should, you know, go in here and you know, if you want to, you know, broaden your 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 security uh, mindset, you know, it, it, these are really really good blogs because I think we do really have here a big opportunity in when you know the industry is going to cloud and cloud native. We have a great opportunity to enhance our security, and it's just as you said, it's really important. Yes, for sure. At at the at the least, it's cloud native is a distributed computer. And and you have microservices that is 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 like a gremlin. You don't know what is a gremlin, don't because it's a film very old, like uh, me. But <laughs> microservices is a gremlin. Yes, every gremlin when you put some water, they transform in a yeah. crazy, a crazy destructor. So uh, we can have care with security in, in many aspects so thank you so much again then was amazing uh we will watch again the, the your presentation because i want to learn more with you was amazing i want to uh thank you uh for armo that has uh give you opportunity to be here with us and i want to thank you everyone uh so guys Thank you for joining us at this last episode of the our this week in the Cloud Native. It's our live stream, the Cloud Native live stream. It's amazing, our Cloud Native TV. It was great to have you, Ben, with us, talk about security aspects of Kubernetes and break everything. And we also really loved the interaction and questions from the audience. It was amazing. We did not talk about the Big Mac uh, uh, recipe, but okay, I don't know. I eat a big Mac today, it was amazing too. And we bring you, uh, and we bring you the last cloud native code every Wednesday at 3 p.m. Eastern time. Next week, yeah. we'll have someone very, very good to present something amazing like Ben. Thank you, Ben, to join us. Thank you, yeah. everyone, to join us. Thank you. See you. Bye, guys. See you. Bye. See you the next. The next week, come on, the nice. same bad channel and the same bad time. Yeah, yeah. See Bye. you. Thank you.